everybody, it's Kristen and happy Topic Tuesday to you. For Topic Tuesday today, we are going to have my three month update. I do this once a quarter, which is every three months, and kind of come to you with the products that I'm trying to work through. I've been doing this for a couple of years now. I, I think I have a playlist that I will link below for you, but at least a couple years, if not a little bit more. I always have products that I'm trying to work through and then um, new ones that I'm adding in and that sort of thing. So here's an update of what, how I've done and what I'm adding in for the next three months. So firstly on my list, and I just go back to my most recent video, print off the list and go from there. So previously I had the Maybelline Define a Brow and I did use that up and show that in an empties, so that's good. And the Catrice Eyebrow Pencil in Date with Ashton, I used that up as well and showed all, also showed that in an empty. Um, the next thing I had on there was the Shuamura Hard Pencil in Seal. And this color I really feel like used to work for me and it just doesn't anymore. So I actually am going to take this off of my list and either... Um, I would probably give it to somebody or see if I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it but I'm going I can tell you that it's going to be removed from my collection I think maybe um, my niece might use it or something so at any rate that is going to be removed henceforth going forward because I just I'm not it's just not dark enough for me and I'm not going to use it so I'm ha instead of having it sit here off it goes all right the Avon super shock black eyeliner I used that up and showed that in an empties and the whoops, the Chanel Stilo waterproof in a bean. Let's see how I have done on that. Ooh, not bad. That's all that's left. It was much higher than that the last time. This one is one that I I can use on my upper lash line, but I really prefer just to use in the waterline. So that one stays in. So then I had a couple of eyeliners that I had added in last time. The first one was the Kat Von D. I don't know, I can't, I'll, I'll have it listed really low with the extra color. Immortal Love, I think it's Immortal Love, the brown one. I can't get this in to sharpen it anymore, it won't twist the spot, so I am considering that done. I just finished that actually yesterday, so that'll show up <laughs> in an empties. But I liked that liner, that was a, it was a good liner. It stayed pretty well and smudged pretty well. I won't repurchase it only because I have a ton more brown eyeliners to use, but not a bad eyeliner, and that that one I think came in one of the one of the palettes. And then I had stuck this one in there in case I had run out of the Avon Super Shock, which I did. And this is in Pura Amour, which is the just her black one, same line, Kat Von D. And I used a little bit of it, not haven't used very much, but I have a good start on that. The next thing was my Hourglass Lipstick in Whisper, and I have finished up as much of this as I am going to do. I, uh, and I stuck my finger in there a little bit to try to get some more out of it, but... So that is good, and I have another one of these already. This is a great lipstick, and I know that you can save this and somehow take this piece off. I don't really know how, but then you can buy just a refill. I don't know how to do that, but I'm sure there's a video that will tell me. So, so there is that. Let's see. The Merle Norman eyeshadow primer, I just talked about this in my empties. I got, I had squeezed all of it out that I could possibly squeeze out, and then I cut it open and I put what was left in one of these little things here, and that worked for, gosh, I think I think it might have already been in one of these last, in my last update. I might have just done that. I can't remember for sure. But um, after it had been, like like I said, about three months, and it just dried up. I couldn't use it anymore. I couldn't get it, you know, it was just dry. So I decided I had done well enough, and I scraped that out and am moving on to something else, which we'll talk about in So, here. yeah, I have worked through that one, and I'm working on another one, which I'll talk about here in a second. All right. The Jordana 12 Hour Made to Last Eyeshadow Pencil in Continuous Almond. I did use that one up to its very end and showed that one in an empties not that long ago. I think it was maybe not last month, but the month before. And I had a whole ton of primer primers that I put in here. Oh, actually, you know what? Before we do that, let's talk about the con a concealer. So I had put the CoverGirl and Olay Depuffer in there to use up. I have not done very well on this. I did a stash status on my concealers and correctors and stuff, which I'll link below, and ended up putting it away in my drawer and totally forgot that this is one I was trying to work through. And I've been using my um, either the Estee Lauder Double Wear or the um, MAC Pro Long Wear. So I'm going to pull this back out and I, I will make a concerted effort to use it up in the next three months. 
Um, okay, so let's talk about the primers. I, I honestly didn't even realize that I had pulled so many primers until um, you guys had commented on the last time I did this, but at any rate. I am still working through the Tarte Clean Slate Poreless. I forget frequently. This one is not one I can use all over my face. It's only one I would use kind of in spots where I have some larger pores. Um, you know, like here, here, and here. I think I said that like four times in the last update. At any rate, still working through that. I haven't worked through it completely yet. So the one that I have, I worked, went through, I had two of these, the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer, just the basic primer, went through one completely, show that in an empties, and then I'm working through the second one. Um, this one is almost, I'm not sure if you can tell, it's almost gone, I don't think you can see, but, so that is almost gone. The other ones that I have in there, which I haven't even touched yet, and this is the Foundation Primer in Radiance, and I think that I'm going to use this. I'm not positive. I may be passing this one along because I think that when I was using this, that was when I was getting a lot of comments on how my skin looked really, like, almost greasy, and I think that it was because of this primer. So I haven't quite decided on that. Haven't touched the fun, just the basic, or no, this is the Mineral Foundation Primer. Haven't touched that. And I have used a little bit here and there the Tom Ford Illuminating Primer, not very much. And here and there, I just, I need to just, I need to just suck it up and use the last of this. <laughs> this is the Guerlain Meteorites, the one in Les Ors, Les Ors, whatever, say it however you want. That was limited edition, they did not bring back last year. I don't foresee it coming back ever, which is just sad, but I need to, I need to suck it up and use it up. So, the... I have been using the um, Embryo Lease because, um, I don't know why, I just pulled it out and started using it again, but that needs to go away and I need to start using it, especially since it's going to be not quite as dry, so that one first, then we'll move on to the rest. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I had the Rouge by Rouge Time Defying Foundation in Quinoa Cream. I used that up completely. And the Smashbox Halo Powder and Light, I also used that up completely and showed both of those in an empty. A few things that I either gave away or found that there was an issue with was the Benefit That Gal Brightening Face Primer. That didn't work for me. That was de I feel like that definitely was um, just not a good primer for me and my skin type. So that one I passed on. And oh, the Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Primer, I can't remember. I have to be very honest. I don't have it anymore. So I either gave it away or gave it to, or gave, either used it up or gave it to my friend at work. I can't remember for the life of me. Uh, and then, oh, one other thing that was on the list was my Burberry powder in Trench. And I have been steered away from this a little bit. I've, I've been kind of slacking. You can't... It's going to be tough for you to see how much I've used, but I have I have done pretty well, but I really have been enjoying a couple of others, um, and so have steered me away from that a little bit, so I'll try to go back <laughs> over the summer. All right, so let's talk about some things that I'm going to add in to my list. The eye primer I'm going to add in is, I have another one, and this is the last one that I have in my backup stash of eye primers, which I'm pretty proud of, I must say. And this is the Prime Time by Bare Minerals, and I like this one. It's not a be-all end-all by any means, but I like it. And a couple of liners that I'm going to have kind of on standby in case I work through the other ones, because I definitely, well, I need to add in a brown for sure, and then if I work through that Kat Von D one, I want to back up. So I have this Avon Black Flash Mega Impact Liner, which is just... A black liner. So I will add that and I, I've used it only once or twice so I can't really say much about it at this point. And then because I know that these tend to dry out pretty quickly I grabbed an Urban Decay in Demolition for my brown and I will work through that one. For foundation I am, and I've mentioned this a few times in videos, have chosen my Bourjois Healthy Mix in 52 which is vanilla. Yes, 52 vanilla. I'm working through that. You can see how much? Let's see. It's right below the word complexion, but I have a feeling by the time I update this in three months it will be gone, so I won't have to worry about where exactly it is. I've chosen a, bronze, a bronzer to work through, not because I don't like it, but just because I want to make sure that I use it. And that is the Guerlain Terracotta Four Seasons in 00 Nude. So it looks like this. I'm going to try to get this up here so you can see a little bit of how much I've used of the of there. I mean, there's a significant dip in that. So that is the bronzer that I will be using. And I pulled out 
this, I kind of switched between this and then my hourglass dim light, and I want to use this up because I can see pan. So this is the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana. I use this for setting my under eyes. I use it when I just want to kind of sweep something a little bit more. It, it kind of does what Dim Infusion does. It's not quite as finely milled as the Dim Infusion, but uh, it works It works really well. And I've talked before how I had gotten the idea from um, Vanessa the Bombshell Suite to kind of, you can use it to diffuse lines on your face. It's, it's really, it's a very nice, very nice part. I just want to, I want to use it up. And I have a couple of eye things in here. I don't know that I've ever chosen something like this before, so it'll be a bit of a challenge. I pulled a color tattoo, and this isn't bad to the bronze. I'm going to see how well this goes. It seems a little bit, it's not too bad. Let me put a little swatch here, just in case you haven't seen bad to the bronze. It's gorgeous. It's perfect for summer. As far as throwing on like a one, you know, like one shadow look. I've had this since they very first came out, so we'll see how it goes and how dry it is. I always have stored them cap on tight and turned upside down, so we shall see. And then I pulled out a palette. I've had people ask me to do a pan that palette, and I just don't know that I can do that. <laughs> but I'm going to try. So currently, and let me grab this out. Currently, you guys have seen my Mac, my go-to Mac quad that I have in my drawer. And I have um, Blanc type, Quarry, Soft Brown, and Wedge in there. I'm going to try to set that aside and use my Urban Decay Nas <laughs> Nasics? <laughs> Urban Decay Naked Basics. So I love this. I've talked about it before. You can see I definitely don't have any, uh, I mean there's not even really any dips in this. So I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to try to use this for my, um, you know, transition color, brow bone highlight, that sort of thing, and deepening things up. We, we'll see. We'll see how it goes in three months. We'll see. I'm trying. I just don't know that I could pick a, like a big color palette and, palette and have that be one that I use all the time. Um, so we're just going to kind of baby step it here with one that I could use every day with, like I said, transition color, brow bone highlight. I can use the black to deepen things up, that sort of thing. So at any rate, that is the one that I have picked. So I, there's my update. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Um, I will tell you what is on my face. And actually, none of the products I'm supposed to be using up is on, are on my face. <laughs> I've been playing around with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness. And I have that in just kind of spots on my face. And then the powder that I have over the top of that is the Photo Filter from Smashbox in the number two. On my eyes today, well here actually, before I say that, on my cheeks I have the It Cosmetics blush, and this is the one I'm pretty peony, I think. Pretty and peony. And on my eyes I have some of the Bella shadows from, I'm going to open these, from Milani. So on my lid I have Bella Sand, and in my crease I have Bella Espresso. These were a gift from a subscriber, so I was playing around with them. And this one I had before, this is Bella Copper. So I have that just beneath my lower lash line. And for my liner, I have the Tarte Liner in Sunstone Bronze on my upper lash line and upper water line. And on my lips today, I have um, the Chanel Shine, Rouge Coco Shine in Boy. And, oh yeah, and as my highlight, I have the Becca Shimmery Skin Perfector in Opal. And I think that is everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you're having a great day, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye!